everyone and welcome to a new series on the channel Pine Mountain Sanctuary. Yeah, you might have seen a couple of episodes on the, some other people's channel. Yeah, because this is a new collaboration project. How exciting is that? Um, yeah, so this is going to be a collaboration between me, the wonderful Simply Savannah, SDN Wolf and uh, Beyond Drew TV. And uh, yeah, the, the first three episodes are already out. Uh, of course, their channels are linked down in the description. So if you haven't seen those, of course, you have to make sure you also check those videos out. Um, because this is actually the fourth episode in this series. And today we are going to build a Formosan black bear habitat. But yeah, let me try to explain a bit about this uh, about this series. So um, yeah, the, this came this idea came from simply uh, savannah she wanted to do a uh, a new series on the channel and he, she um, came up with a with a theme which apparently is called uh, pacific northwest or something like that i don't know i'm not american i'm the uh, i'm the only european guy in the team so yeah i had to do uh, a bit of research but yeah she uh, she came up with an idea and, and, uh, and a building plan and she was like yeah i can invite some uh, some people to uh, to help me out with the, with the project and uh, so yeah so this is how the uh, the collaboration started um, i'm super excited about it um yes yeah, really wonderful creators uh, people that i've always yeah, been looking up to and um yeah i, I was actually kind of nervous when i uh, yeah, had to do my first build so yeah i tried to do the best i can and i'm super happy with the, with the result in the end um, but yeah, you will see that during the video and of course in the end there will be some wonderful cinematics and I highly recommend to uh, stick through until the end of the video because you will see a couple of changes uh, because I went back into the file and I, I made some changes, I added some things which you can all see in the cinematics in the uh, in the end. Uh, this, this build took me quite a bit. I think I built for like uh, the first uh, session was like... Uh, probably eight hours straight something like that and then the next day i went back into it and uh, yeah finished the build and uh, yeah yeah that, that was uh, that was kind of the story um but i was trying to explain what we uh, what we are doing so pacific northwest um yeah it's, it's a lot of wooden buildings uh, kind of a low budget build that we are trying to create i kind of forgot about the low budget part so and there might be some things uh, in the build which is yeah it could have been cheaper basically um, but in the end, it's all about how it's looking, right? So yeah, I'm, I'm still I'm still really happy with that. So the Pine Mountain Sanctuary is all about uh, like a sanctuary for all the bear species. So we're going to add like the grizzly bears. We're going to do or the sun bears are already in, which was done by uh, Beyond Drew TV. And um, yeah, we're going to basically do all the, uh, the bear species that we have in the game. So that's why we are doing the Formosan Black Bear. Uh, at the moment yeah there's also going to be polar bears in this zoo probably Ooh, how exciting is that uh yeah I, I even i i'm excited about that um but yeah the building style was completely new for me i had to do a lot of research but i'm really happy with uh, with how it came out i uh, yeah as i said i highly recommend to check out the the other videos as well there were some really good builds out there and uh, uh, yeah especially like the the entrance really gives you the vibe that they were uh, they were going for and uh, yeah that's what i basically yeah try to to use as a, as a reference for the for the building style so right now we are doing uh, some fencing of course we have already done a lot while i was talking uh, nonsense for four minutes straight so yeah i'm really proud of myself um yeah we did a lot of rock work we did some fencing and as you can see i'm changing it all the time first i started off with uh, with the barriers just as some uh, on rock work and then later on, I decided, yeah, it's a bit too much. I think I also cut out quite a bit uh, from the from the rock work. And um, yeah, I made, made this beautiful uh, little uh, viewing area, which was actually inspired by a zoo. I visited the Amersfoort in the Netherlands. Um, right at the entrance, they also have like a Formosan black bear habitat. Um, at least I'm not sure if 100% sure if Formosan black bear, but they are bears and they're black. I mean, what else could it be? I don't know um yeah uh, well they have a habitat right there and i was highly inspired by that especially for the climbing frames and for the viewing areas uh, which was all based on that zoo of course i gave it my own twist with the backstage building because i had no clue how that would look like so of course i called my friend leader and i said hey leader uh yeah what does a backstage 
area of a black bear uh, need? Well, he told me a few things. So that's what we're also going to build. Of course, there's going to be a full indoor part uh, on the backstage buildings that we will uh, do later on in the, in the video. Uh, right now we're doing the barrier, so I deleted a lot of the uh, the rocks that I already placed, put down some, some concrete uh, to make it look a little bit more uh, realistic. Uh, make sure it's um, it's a bit lower because it was sticking through the path, and right now the the bears can't uh, escape anymore. I'm a big fan of these uh, big rocks lately. Uh, I've seen uh, SDN using them uh, in some live streams, and I saw he was losing oh, using them. Uh, in the park as well, so uh, yeah, I was experimenting a bit with that uh, new technique. Also, trying to play a bit more with the terrain work, very important because uh, yeah, this is not the Netherlands, okay? Soof, you have to get used to it. This is not the Netherlands, so not everything is flat. So I tried to play a bit with the uh, with the terrain work, which is uh, yeah, kind of new for me. You can see that uh, like the path is like two meter raised, and I was already like whoa. That was a wonderful job I did with the terrain work. Um, yeah, this is going to be the layout for the backstage building. I'm uh, changing it a bit. We're actually going to add some uh, staff buildings in there. Uh, but first, we are going to do some climbing frames. I tried something with this uh, with this fake tree thing. And um, I'm using a lot of these broken trees because that's what I saw in a uh, real zoo. And in real life, they would, of course, be able to use it. But I actually found out that in the game... Uh, the bears can't climb these broken trees. I'm not sure if any animal can climb it. I don't think so. It doesn't have the climbable tag on it, uh, which is a bit weird. So later on, off camera, I added some uh, planks and some uh, some stuff they can use. So the bears will actually use it, and it will look really uh, really nice while they are playing around in this um, in this yeah basically climbing slash playing area. Because first I was using this log, again didn't have the climbable tag. I just I, I don't know. I thought it was climbable, but it wasn't. And so the bears can't use it, which is uh, which was really stupid of me. But I really like those new logs. I mean, they look really nice. And you can give them your own color. They have a nice texture. So yeah, it was a shame that we couldn't use them in the end. Uh, but I wanted to show it to you guys anyway. Then, of course, a lot of rocks. I'm super happy with the rock work in this habitat and the foliage work. It was a... Uh, so, uh, it was a bit of experimenting this this entire theme is completely new for me so there was like the foliage is coming from these big national parks that you will have in the in the, in the northwest of uh, the united states and um yeah and i've never been there so i have to do it from you know reference images uh, a bit of a davy crockett and uh, style range some kind of the yeah those those kind of things of course the guys really helped me out with uh, yeah you have to look for this or this or this and uh, yeah, I, I got a bit of an ID where we are going for. And I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm super excited about this project. I was super excited to share this with you guys. Oh, I'm stealing a little blueprint here from uh, Beyond Drew. Uh, thank you so much for that. I was, I was thinking, okay, I have to make something to protect the the trees so the the bears can't climb it. And then I saw it right there, and I was like, yeah, why would I, you know, build it myself? It's already there and it's perfect. So, yeah, that's what I did um yeah some broken trees but anyway i will say something else yeah super excited um i can't wait to to jump into the the build again actually i have some uh, cool ideas for some new habitats and uh, this project is going really really fast i think not even a week ago or maybe a week ago uh, savannah posted her first video on this one and by now this is episode number four so within a week we dropped out like four videos which is insane and the park is already really getting big and and you can really feel the atmosphere they they really create a, a wonderful um like a main street and um there's already wolves in there the binturong there is a, a panic fox habitat the sun bears did i already say that i don't know um yeah there's already a lot going on in this uh, in the zoo it might be cool to uh, give you guys maybe a little uh, little update video every uh, every now and then but yeah we yeah we will discuss that um yeah the, the thing about this this um project and this collab um these guys are just really cool you know if it's if it's just you know if you feel like building then go for it if you don't feel like it yeah well then then don't it's really relaxed it's really cool we don't really have a schedule um somehow we dropped out four videos in a week but maybe in the end it will slow down a bit uh, but yeah we will uh, we will see um yeah just decorating these uh, these viewing areas 
uh, with some broken logs i thought yeah maybe kids could climb it and uh, watch the bears you know uh, climb over the fence a little bit of course there's still glass so they won't uh, drop into the habitat very important then my favorite new piece the grass from the um, the new africa pack and then combined with these desert tree uh, uh, i don't know what they're called the reddish things they really give a cool effect i found that i don't know why but uh, yeah that's what i'm using uh, all over the place again these temple stones they are always perfect uh, recoloring it a little bit different this time of course than uh, with limpopo um but yeah more or less the same technique that i'm using here uh, i was thinking okay that fence is not enough to keep the guests from entering the habitat of course it was enough to keep the formosan black bears inside because we already have that concrete wall so we needed another fence later on i um I found out these were recolorable, so I gave them a bit of a, a rusty color, so it looks a bit more uh, worn and used. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that was almost it for the outdoor area. I think I might go back into it uh, later on, but first we are gonna do the uh, the indoor section of this uh, of this habitat. Um, these plaster pieces again, I'm using them in Lopo Limpopo, so I will remove it again. But you wouldn't see it, but you will see it in the cinematics, uh, as I said like three times now. But anyway, um, the indoor part, see, uh, we're gonna do some fencing over here. So, what the bears need is basically a, um, a place to separate them, which is gonna be on the back if you look at the video right now, and then on the front over here, you will have a play area and um but actually a indoor pool that will be there uh, which was a, a struggle because i wanted to place it like next to the path which is yeah, a very bad idea but i did it anyway i'm um, using the new mesh fence pieces over here this will be the area where you can put the bears in to separate them or whatever if they uh, need some uh, need a timeout if they were naughty you can put them in here or if they want to sleep like night quarters Something like that. I don't know. I didn't really have an idea for it. Um, but of course, Lita told me what to do. So I tried to do that. And uh, that is, uh, it really came out really well. See a little uh, viewing area over here for the guests. And um, yeah, that's basically for the play area. I wanted to do a viewing gallery on the other side. But then I thought, yeah, this is like a night quarters. So I will remove it again, like the part that is over there. So the bears would have a bit of a privacy while sleeping very important i mean if you were sleeping and there were like people walking by your your window looking at you all the time you wouldn't feel very uh, very nice comfortable no so the bears need some privacy then the indoor playing area that's what we're doing right now by the way that blueprint it's golden it's uh, it's the best blueprint that was ever made uh, someone created a blueprint and you can just copy and paste the um, the color codes of it to match with the taiga or the temperate or whatever with the normal rocks that we have in the game so i'm using that blueprint all the time if you just uh, look for like full rock color on, on the workshop you will find a blueprint which is uh, really perfect then again i'm using some stuff which is not climbable which i will have to remove later on i think this the the texture on these things is really really cool but then I found that the bears was or weren't able to uh, to use it, which is really stupid. So in the cinematics, you will see a bit of a different indoor area, at least uh, a bit of a different uh, like climbing structure. But I still wanted to show you guys what I was uh, doing right here. I know today's video is a bit long, like 20 minutes of uh, of speed build. When I um, had all my footage, it was like 40 minutes, so I had to cut out quite a bit. Uh, as I said, it, it took me a long time to uh, to build this uh, build this thing, but it came out really well, so uh, I'm pleased with that. Oh, some enrichment items, very important. You can see it's really coming alive. The the habitat with all the foliage, with all the rocks. Um, I try to make it look uh, interesting from every side. And right now we're doing the uh, the indoor pool. I wasn't able to get it as close uh, to the fence uh, as I wanted. Well, yeah, the indoor pool is, is always a struggle. You can see, oh, the path thing, I don't want that. Um, I don't like water. But we are doing it anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit stubborn here. And yeah, this is look, yeah, that, that looks weird. But we will fix that later on. You wouldn't even see the path thing anymore. Yeah, which is perfect. See, there it is. There it is. Wonderful. A indoor swimming area. And then we, uh, of course, create 
a nice uh, little viewing gallery over here. I'm using the Arctic wood pieces all right now, but I will change that later on together with these uh, with these beams. Um, I'm, I'm changing it to match a little bit more with the buildings that were already there to get the vibe going. And uh, this big glass panel, you can change the color of it, as you can see, which is perfect. Somehow, it's one of the very few glass pieces which you can change the color of. Because if you get the smaller glass panels, you can't change it anymore, which is a bit weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, rocks. Even more rocks over here. Very nice. Faux rocks are the best things out there if you're going for like, um, like a realistic fake rock wall or something like that. Uh, for inside the habitat, I still prefer the like uh, yeah the base game things uh, that we already had. Uh, the viewing gallery over here, some nice uh, lock uh, things. Uh, I don't know what it is. Is it like a sunshade? Not really, right? No, I don't know. Uh, the path thing, I have to change it a little bit, trying to get it in there. No, it doesn't work. Of course, it doesn't work. Uh, there's water there. Um, so yeah, I experiment a little bit. Oh, and somehow there's already a path there. Yeah, I. I yeah, didn't show you guys that I was building it because I will delete it again. Um, I'm super happy with this little fence, by the way. Um, like the, the structure that I did with these logs, it's super simple, but it works. And then this temple uh, temple piece, which is perfect as a pathing. You will also see that coming up in Aruma Asia. Uh, I use it over there. And then together with this little uh, faux rock, it really creates a nice little pathing. And then you can see that there is the actual pathing is sticking out a little bit. But then, of course, we'll just cover it up with some foliage and nobody will ever see it again. <laughs> yeah, what a trick. How cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, a thing you would see in the uh, in the cinematics is uh, I created a little um, uh, education holder screen, stuff like that. Um, again, I did that off camera. Uh, I was experimenting a lot with it. Like the shape is it's, it's, it was just a typical thing that I had in mind and I found some reference images and I tried to uh, to copy that um, some lighting indoors very important um, I, did, I think I didn't show you guys building the roof again <laughs> I know that this speed build is a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a mess isn't it um, but I, I still hope you guys learn a lot from it and you see that I yeah, I don't come up with things straight away. I also have to experiment with the pieces and uh, see if I'm happy with it. Yes, no, um, you know, change it a little bit. And I really try not to force myself into building everything right in one go because of, yeah, just because of the sake of like recording and editing. Um, of course, it's, it's much easier for me when I build it straight away in the right way. So I only have to speed it up, don't have to cut out anything and uh, can just show it to you guys. But for the final result, for me, it's really important that I just experiment with the with the pieces and uh, see what I can uh, can come up with and make sure it looks perfect in the uh, in the end. Um, yeah, this cool little uh, roof structure. Um, I, I used that in um, in Veluwe Zoo, I think, but also in Borealis Zoo uh, with these logs and this this nice little uh, log structure that I did right over there. I did like these uh, like rusty uh, roofs, but I didn't like the indoor part of it uh, so it was either covering up that with uh, with like plaster or whatever uh, but in the end I just changed the, the roofing entirely right now I'm changing the walls a little bit going for some plaster it looks a little bit better instead of these uh, breeze block I think it's called um, but yeah that was uh, that was it for this uh, video I really hope you guys enjoyed make sure you are subscribed to uh, Savannah Beyond Drew SDN uh, so you won't miss out on anything about this new series. I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are as well. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Yoo-yoo! Hey,